of the day. It is a beautiful Wednesday here at the beach and we are going to have a fun show for you today because guess what we're using today? Our theme of the show today is America's favorite corn chip. Yep, that's what we're doing today. So let me get you guys pulled up here real quick so I can see your comments. My Instagrammers, you need to come over to Facebook so I can read your comments because they're too small on Instagram. I can't see you. But I see you guys can wa are watching, but I can't see who's there. So if you want me to comment and see your comments, what we're using today. come over here to Facebook. Hey, Mary Chris, how are you? Okay, so Frito Corn Chip Day. Um, we are going to be making a Frito peanut butter chocolate chip like Rice Krispie Treat or I guess I should say rice cereal treat um, with Fritos and chocolate chips and peanut butter. Are you kidding me? I was like, what? I've never even heard of that. We got to try that because it is America's favorite corn chip and everybody loves Fritos, I have found out. But mostly, especially my business partner and buddy and birthday girl, Lindy Matheny, loves Fritos. So that got my attention too. So, And then the other thing we're going to make, we're going to make Frito pie. So Frito dessert and Frito pie. So right now I've got a pound, uh, a little more than a pound of beef um, browning there behind me. So I'm going to add, I started a couple minutes ago, I'm going to add, of course, you know, I grate my onion because I don't like a big chunks of onion in things when I get done. Because basically we're making a quick chili here. So I'm going to get the onion liquid. This was a really big onion that I grated, so I'm not going to use it all there. But then I found these that looked yummy to add a little zip to our meat. These are hatch, it said here, I'll show, I'll show you here, it said hatch green chili Johnsonville. I'm like, oh, those would be really good in our Frito pie. So I'm going to throw a couple of those in, just because they sounded good. And so in they go. Hatch green chili sausages there. So those are going in. And then, to start our yumminess for our Frito, I don't know what we're going to call these. They call these South Dakota Frito Treats is what the recipe says on these. But I'm going to start here in this other little saucepan. Let's get it turned on here. Low. I'm going to put in here one cup of sugar going in the saucepan and one cup of corn syrup going in here. So I have my little spatula out here just in case light corn syrup going in. So that's what we are going to melt this together and bring this to a boil. Of course, hope I don't over boil, uh, boil it while I'm talking. So remind me that I have sugar going here. <laughs> okay, so that's going to put this on the stove here to get bring it up to a boil. Of course, gen uh, gently give it a little stir here. We'll get our liquid on the bottom. Oh my goodness, this is going to be yummy. Okay, so that is going. So we have our meat, our onions, our hatch green chilies that just looked yummy going in our pan here. And getting these browned up with our onion. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. And then actually, one of the, another reason I picked this recipe, besides the fact that everybody loves Frito pie, if you've never had it, you're in for a treat. Um, but you could make this really quick in the morning when you're getting breakfast ready because, you know, we're all at home with our kids. Today's the first day of school, by the way. Um, Rex just had his first day of Zoom school, so he, um, I tried to get him to come down here and help me make these Frito treats, but I don't see him, but he is out of school. Um, lost my train of thought on the Frito pie. Oh, so the Frito pie in the morning when you're getting breakfast ready ready for everyone before their school starts. Um, you could make this uh, chili while you've already got the kitchen going with breakfast and then you have it ready because I'm going to put this stuff once it's done and once it's browned up in the crock pot with a few more things which I'll show you here and then it's going to cook. It can cook all afternoon and then by the time you're ready for di uh, dinner, dinner is made and you only had to mess up the kitchen once when you were doing breakfast. That's another reason why I picked this because I thought, you know, we just need some easier things to make because otherwise, don't you feel like you've been in the kitchen? Well, I definitely feel like I've been in the kitchen. <laughs> Morning, noon, and night during COVID, uh, which has been fun. But
but I know that if I had littler kids and more of them, I would be like, oh my goodness, you know. How it's time to make another meal. Okay, so over here with my sugar, I see it's bubbling. But I need to get my sugar to dissolve here. I see I'm off you Instagrammers. I'm over here on the sugar and the corn syrup, getting it mixed together and melted and bringing it to a boil very slowly because corn syrup can be a little finicky sometimes but I'm just trying to get it dissolved and it's headed that way so that's good okay so now I'm going to take my pan here for my uh, Frito treats and I'm going to spray it of course I'm going to need some spray to spray it here coconut will work because I love it coconut so I'm going to spray my pan here because I have a feeling that this is going to be very sticky. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm going to heavily spray my pan here so we have a chance of getting these Frito treats out when we get them done. <laughs> and I'm going to take, I have a couple different kinds of America's Favorite Corn Chip here. I have regular, these are the little ones, and then I bought some low salt ones just for fun because we're going to use another bag for our Frito pot. So I was in the Frito mood. Here we go. So on the bottom of this, I'm going to put a whole bag. This is the nine and a half, nine and a quarter ounce bag of Fritos here. Going in the bottom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. <laughs> oh man. Oh, thank you for the heads up on the cart, sir. Yes. We're going there. I turn it up a little bit. Thank you. Yes, keep walk, keep walk, keep watching it. And Mary Chris, how are you doing today? Okay. So I'm just waiting to get my sausage here a little bit browned up and cooked. Because then I'm going to throw it all in the crock pot once it's brown. So let me get it flipped over here. And our beef's getting nice and brown. The onion's getting translucent. So into this, I am going to add getting sidetracked here on my two things, but I'm going to add some taco seasoning, our homemade taco seasoning that we made. I don't know what episode that was, but it's here in my repertoire. And I'm going to put at least probably two tablespoons of taco seasoning into our meat. So heaping. So I definitely want to flavor it up. So, oh my gosh, it smells good already. And this is go going here. Ooh, it's getting there. Yes. Okay. We are almost ready on that, too. Okay, so in here, we've got sprayed our pan, and one bag of Fritos went in. And now here we go. Ah! I'm going to put one cup or half a bag of chocolate chips into the middle here of our Frito yumminess. It's about half. Okay, oh my gosh, this is going to be good. It smells good already. <laughs> oh. Okay, so then uh, I'm going to let that brown. See how we're coming to a boil here. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Our taco seasoning with our meat and our onions. Oh, don't knock over my kiss the cook sign. Oh my gosh, yum. Okay. I can make Frito treats and chili at the same time. You can make breakfast and chili at the same time. <laughs> oh, Mo! Awesome! You came over to Facebook. See, I didn't even know who, who you were with your long name. Thank you for the heads up. How was Andrew's first day? How do you do? I don't think they have any classes to... Uh, to uh, together. Bummer. I was just asking Rex, like, do you have any of your friends in your classes? He's like, not really. But I wish they were back in school for sure. Dang. Okay, so I'm going to take our corn syrup here because it looks like it's bubbling. Just a second. This smells so good. I'm not sure it's our taco seasoning or these hatch um, sausages that look so yummy, but it all smells good. Here. Okay. So 
now I'm going to take this corn syrup concoction off the heat here and we are going to stir in, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, one cup of peanut butter because, yeah, oh, I can't see my comments. Hey Christy, how are you? We're, it is America's favorite corn chip day and we are making Frito treats, especially you, Christy, home with several kiddos that you are having to school, I'm sure, in some way. Okay, so I'm stirring one cup of peanut butter here into our hot sugar and corn syrup. So let me get this incorporated here, and then I will be mixing, pouring it here over our first layer of Fritos and chocolate chips. I mean, come on, tell me, when you read this recipe, when I read it, I was like, oh, you're kidding me. That's something we just have to make. So let me know. I left my, um, I usually keep the peanut butter in the refrigerator. So I actually pulled this out to warm it up um, so it would mix into my hot syrup here a little easier. So it is mixing in pretty fair, uh, fairly quickly and well here. So as I get this done, I'm going to mix it in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is Fritos your favorite corn chip? you love them? Now the recipe called for creamy peanut butter, but we have controversy here in this house over peanut butter, where the one who does the grocery shopping likes crunchy. The other men that live in this house like creamy. So I did actually have some, some creamy, so I used half crunchy and half creamy here in this little concoction here. Uh-oh. Overflow. Ooh. Very hot. Oh my gosh, is that good? Okay, so now I have my peanut butter incorporated here. Hold on, I hear this. I'm going to turn this down because I hear it bu uh, bubbling back there. So here we go. We're going to pour half of our, you guys see this? You guys can see up close. It's like peanut butter yumminess, which is exactly what it tastes like. And we are going to take our peanut butter butter, corn syrup, sugar mix here and put a layer, about half of it, into our, on top of our chocolate chips and a bag of Fritos. I know, is this just the coolest? I mean, for someone I have, you know, always been, been a cook, made lots of things, had tons and tons of, of parties and entertained and um, which way do you want me to go there, director? He's pointing me. So you guys can see, is that what you're trying to do? And I had never even heard of this. So when I find something that I've never even heard of, I'm like, oh my goodness, that we got to try. So here we are. We are trying it. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This pretty much looks as good as, <laughs> as you can imagine it looks. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I have about half of our syrup there on our Fritos and our cup of chocolate chips. So now I'm going to take another bag of Fritos. And I thought, what the heck, we'll use the 50% less salt ones. Because <laughs> why not? Hey, Janet, how are you? Oh, Mo says hi, honey. Hi, back. He says hi. He's back here dancing behind the, ca the camera, keeping me focused here. Oh, my gosh. So I was showing property yesterday in Santa Barbara. If you know anyone looking for a house between six and seven million that might be one of the most gorgeous houses I've ever shown. I mean, it was absolutely stunning. Ocean views, brand new, it's just gorgeous. Boy, do I have the house for you. <laughs> it is very fun, very, very fun to show property in that price range because it just is. <laughs> The people are so nice, and the houses are so beautiful, and the views are gorgeous. Very fun. Beautiful day. So here, I'm putting the rest of this on here. I think I'm going to put the chocolate chips on on top. I think I was supposed to put them on next, but I'm putting them on here on top. So let me save some software. So this is going to be unreal. Hey, Jill, how are you? I know, totally. Jill was my guest on Saturday. So Jill, for Lindy's birthday, Lindy, my business uh, partner, um, we they made 
um, Jill's family uh, chicken broccoli crumble with the cornbread uh, crumble on top for her birthday party dinner. And so we had it. It was delicious because Jill, the one that we made is in the freezer. I haven't gotten it eaten yet. Um, but we ate it for her birthday dinner. So it was so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, back to my sauce here. I can smell my meat be be behind me, but this is just too much fun. Are you kidding me? See, Mo Rex should have come down here and helped me like I asked him to. Because he would have liked this one. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like Fritos? And peanut butter and chocolate chips. Oh my goodness. I suppose you could probably make this with almond butter or cashew butter or whatever else you like. And I was thinking, you know, I thought I better make it once before I decide how to modify it, but like a seven layer bar, what kind of came to mind, like if you want to put coconut and nuts and, you know, more things in here, cranberries or M&Ms or kind of whatever is your fancy, this would lend itself to that. But I think the big surprise on this is the Fritos. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious yumminess. Okay, so I'm having too much fun with this re uh, recipe. So all of our peanut butter, corn syrup, yumminess, it's very hot, is in there. So now we're going to let that just set. I mean, seriously, you guys. Yum! Okay, so next, let me finish our um, Frito pie here. So in, Instagram can't see here, but in my, here's my crock pot bottom, I just pulled it out of the base. We are going to finish this recipe. So in the pan here, I have the browned beef, the sausages I threw in, some taco seasoning and onion. Of course, you know, I grate my onion because I don't like big pieces of onion in my things. So I just um, grate it on the box grater and then um, you don't have big chunks in your finished product. Into our meat and onion concoction here, I'm going to put a can of chili beans with the not drained. So I'm going to put a can of chili beans and I have a can of pinto beans. Oh, I know. Well, Mo, he, he has been on a couple, um, a couple of the shows, but you know, teenager, I wish he'd come down. Gary can make him uh, uh, come down, but you know, teenager. Okay, so two cans of beans go going in. I have a one um, eight ounce can of tomato sauce. And then I have here um, a can of Rotel that I have um, done the immersion blender in. Because again, um, one of us in this family does not like the chunks in Rotel. That would be Rex, doesn't like chunks of tomato. So if I grind it up with the immersion blender, you still get the flavor of Rotel, but you don't have chunks. So that's only by personal preference. You don't have to grind it up, but I do. So there is that, and I'm going to put a little bit of pepper and some red pepper flake in this, and then stick it in the crock pot. Uh, three, probably three hours on high is enough, but you could probably do it five or six on low, um, so it's ready, you know, for di for dinner time, and you only had to mess up the kitchen once. And because I know my audience, I'll put a few shakes of red pepper because we like it spicy around here. And then that is going to be the base of our Frito pie. I'm going to use a little bit of this before I put the lid on and have it in the crock pot. Um, I will serve some so you can see our different options on serving Frito pie is what is another good option for camping too. There's a place um, in Oklahoma we didn't get to go this summer. Oh, here he is. My child's going to make an appearance. Here he is, Mo. My handsome boy on the first day of school. Instead of our first day of school, junior um, and high school photo, here he is, live, ready for a COVID haircut. Okay, so let's, we're gonna, I'm gonna demo this. Now I would leave this in the crock pot. I will leave it to, to cook. I mean, everything in it's cooked. But I'll show you one way to serve this. Like if you're camping, you take your bag of Fritos, the little bag, take your bag of Fritos. And I'm going to give you, where's the ladle right here? Um, I could do it, just so I can have you see. Uh, you could just put the chili in the bag with your condiments and you're good to go. You have a portable meal in the bag and you can camp with that. And But little kids, again, your kids are home. It's a great thing for your kids. We'll put a few chips in there. 
just so everyone can see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a little chili on top of our chips in there, and then I have cheese, all your favorite taco con uh, condiments. I have the Oaxaca um, cheese that I love, which is like Mexican mozzarella. It's yummy and it melts. It's my favorite cheese for queso fundido or quesadillas. It's the best. So put that, put a little cheese, and I have cheddar cheese, and I have diced jalapeno, which he doesn't like, but all your favorite things to go on top of that. Put a little cheese on top of that. And um, I have a beautiful avocado here that's ready to go that I didn't cut because we're not ready to eat it yet. And then of course I love, he doesn't love sour cream because you got to have some sour cream on, on top of that. And then there you go, Frito pie. And everyone can make their own taco bar, Frito pie bar. So taste it and see if it's delicious. You can tell us it's, del it's, de it's delicious anyway. So then on the, um, you can get off your Instagram, get over here. So the mystery of the Malden salt, because I know we were all mystified. Here is this bucket of Malden salt that arrived on Saturday, right before the show. And I'm like, did I order that? Because I was researching salt the other night in the middle of the night, because what do you do in the middle of the night? I'm reading all about salt. And I'm like, did I order that? Like this huge thing came. I mean, it's literally, it's, how big is this, Gary? He said it was three pounds of salt. So I mean, it's enough to last me for the rest of my life, right? So I'm like, did I order that? Like, that's how cracked up this is. And um, my girlfriend, Megan, sent it to me. So Megan saw me using that Malden Flakes salt on those chocolate chip cookies um, last week that are, by the way, like six stars. That recipe is awesome, and I am a cookie freak. So she sent me this totally gallon bucket bucket of the Malden salt. I thought it was hilarious. Mike. So now I know I'm not cracking up. One of my good friends and, and loyal viewers sent me a bucket of salt, so we will have to think of some more recipes. If you have some good ones for flake salt, um, send them my way and let's make them. So there is my easy Frito pie. There's a place in Oklahoma, which I started to, to tell you because we didn't get there this summer, called Coney Islander. It's a hot dog place and it's Gary's very favorite place. And they make Frito pie there, and I'm sure they make it more places, but that's the only place I've actually seen it on the menu. They make these little hot dogs, Coney Islanders, but they also make Frito pie. So anyway, so there's my recipe for the Frito um, treats, and then the Frito pie, and of course, whatever you like, whatever you have, COVID cooking can go in your chili, and then you can layer it up in the bag, you can layer it up like this, you layer it up on some lettuce with some Fritos, like a salad. So however you want to make it is good to go. So happy first day of school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we will look forward to seeing you soon. I have a couple birthday shout outs. Do you want to do our birthday sh uh, shout outs? No. I know you're excited. No. <laughs> Here's my birthday shout out hat. So birthday shout outs to Lindy Matheny. We celebrated her already. Her birthday was yesterday. And it was Denise's birthday yesterday. Denise Powell, happy birthday to you, dear friend, the mother of six. And Michael Rasmussen, childhood friend, it's your birthday too, East Coaster. And then Thursday we have Ilsa McClary, it's your birthday on Thursday. So we have an early um, shout out for you. And just so you can plan on your calendar, tomorrow is National Prosecco Day. And it is also National Filet Mignon Day. So you can plan your meal for tomorrow night, Prosecco and Filet Mignon. Yeah, bring it on. Um, and then if you have commented or liked on these videos, you are in my pool here. And today's giveaway, um, oh, there's my sister. Hello, sister. We, um, my sister and I were ordering kitchen cabinets today for a remodel we're in the middle of, but they're finally on the way. So it's always something around here, doing a million things all the time. Uh, our giveaway today are these really cute American flag surfboard hats. They're surfboards, you can't tell, but they're totally cute. So I thought we'd do these for Labor Day and I can get them out to you hopefully in time for Labor Day, which is already in a couple weeks, which I can't believe, I can't believe school started, I mean August 12th. But here we are. So our giveaway today are these cute hats. And so I will reach into our little fish here and see who our winners are today. Hey, Andrew, are you watching? Denise Pyle, it's your birthday, woohoo, and you won. It's your birthday, it's your birthday. Hey, girl. Oh my gosh, she also has triplets, by the way. She's just incredible. 
So that's our first winner who wins on her birthday. That's awesome. And then, hey Erin, how are you? Our second winner, Sandy Williams, our friend from Oklahoma. She just moved. She's got a new house in Oklahoma that we didn't get to see this summer. I'm so bummed, but we will get there soon. I know we will. So thank you guys for watching. You can visit us at GaryLisa.com for all your real estate needs. And you can um, get these recipes and videos on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate. Please um, go to Ventura Real Estate and subscribe because we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. So please go there and subscribe because once we get to 1,000, we can broadcast on YouTube too. So thank you for watching. These shows have been so much fun. And we love it when you watch live. So we are here Wednesdays and Saturdays at 3 o'clock live. And we look forward to talking to you soon. If you have family favorite recipes, please send them in. And of course, we're always looking for fun guests. So if you want to be a guest, um, let me know and we will make your family favorites. So happy first day of school and we'll talk to you soon.